Ota right. Otaku family, what is up, fam? But what are we? What are we calling them now? The Ota the Otaku's the Ota Otaku the, the Otakians the Otakians the Tak the, the Otakians it was the Otakians it was the Otakians yo that's the name. Let, let, let's talk about powers. Let's talk about what powers do we think we would want if we were to get bus senpai into a anime world. Now, I know a lot of these aren't. So, I know you sent me this picture. A lot of these aren't isekais. None of them really are. Yeah, not, but none of them are. None of them are isekais. But these, we, we found this picture. I think, David, you found this picture. Yeah, one um, of my Facebook yeah, groups. On one of your Facebook groups. And we're going to kind of go down the pros and cons of each one of them, and then pick our top one, which I think I know which one I would want. I think I do. Um, I think you know which one I want, too. I think I do. <laughs> um, but we're going to we're gonna pick our top one, maybe two, just to be like, eh, if I can't have this one, I'll have this one. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to talk about some powers. Let's see, like, you know, that's one of the most debated topics is, like, what power would you want? Honestly, and, I just wanted know, to get into this, not just simply because of how power... Right great powers can be is because mm -hmm. when it comes to the actual power system and the animes and the manga that makes or breaks the story like for yeah. jojo's bizarre adventure yeah. for example they changed like how their power level system was and in yeah. my opinion it changed for better some people's opinion it changed for the worse yeah. but if a power system is just perfect like the writer actually took their time to say okay this is this this is this um, right. Counters and balances, obviously. You gotta have counters and balances. Mm -hmm. It makes the story great. Prime example, Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> One of the I, best power I, systems. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think it, it kind of... It allows it allows the reader to also see, if they write it well, what the what its own pros and cons would be. Mm. Now, when we get into, like, pros and cons for myself, personally, I know you probably have some. So, yeah, we could do, you know, we'll do, like, pros and cons of the actual power, but then our personal pros and cons. Like, because I have some personal pros and cons myself for some of these powers. Mm. Like, why I wouldn't want them and why I would want them. Um, so, for me, so, pros and cons of, of alchemy, mm. right? So, a pro is definitely, depending on, like, your type of power, but you could kind of create or do pretty much anything. Yeah. I mean, that's personally, you know, you could do anything. And if those of y'all don't know, alchemy is from Full, full, uh, full Metal Alchemist. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so you could create pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. um, however, unless you're broken like Edward or like Mustang. I mean, Mustang used... He put the, like, the symbol on his glove and it, like he was inventive, like yeah. innovative with, with it. Like he was able to use that for his alchemy. Honestly, I think that's, that's a pro. That's a huge pro because you could do so many things with it. It's versatile. Yeah. It's, it's so I mean, versatile in the verse. Like, I hate it with a certain power any power like oh you only can do this alchemy is like okay thing. learn yeah. alchemy do the study put the time hashtag time in hashtag and time you in. can be yeah. powerful i mean you're not going to be edward edward is broken but uh, you could be mustang mustang was the actual attainable height you know what i mean yeah so that, i think that's uh, definitely a huge pro i think a lot of people in the show definitely limited themselves though to only having specific power sets mm. so like they were alchemists, kind of like, kind of like when we get to Chakra next, kind of like Chakra, but like, they didn't think outside of the box, and they allowed themselves to only use one move, or to use like yeah. the girl, or the dude, it was a dude, they love putting like dudes that look like girls in there, but with the hair thing, mm -hmm. like the weird like tentacle things, like that's all he did, but he didn't do anything else, I'm like, you could do so much more, because you're an alchemist. You mean like, the homunculi? Yeah, yeah, but they had they had the ability, and I'm like, yeah, you have abilities to do a um, bunch of stuff. Like, Ed, like I'm thinking of the scene where Edward is running, and he's like, he's like generating rocks as he's running, and it makes him like kind of float across the canyon. And I'm like, mm. that shit's dope, right? And that's the reason he why also, he was so good because he used yeah. so many different um, alchemy to do everything. I just I see it. The the only real cons I see with it is that one, you have to realistically in that world you have to really find a good teacher or you have to go to the school in order to be good at it. Mm -hmm. It's not like everybody has it. So it's not like, or anybody can generate it. And I mean, you can kind of teach yourself because they talked about like Edward teaching himself and like him and his brother taught themselves and that's yeah. how they fucked up in the beginning. But you really have to be taught it in order to use it. Yeah, they were and, special. They were really yeah, like a special And if you don't, 
if you're not if you're not in in the know in the crowd you're not you're not ever going to learn alchemy and you're going to be a, a npc in that world yeah. you know what i'm saying like while well, everybody's fighting that's, yeah, everyone that's has crazy. access to it but unless yeah. unless you have like real um like you're great at self-study or a good teacher yeah. you're you're never going to really get anywhere with it you're going to be part of the military yeah. who has like you're a one trick pony so that's yeah. definitely a huge con with alchemy <laughs> yeah. no definitely agree but chakra yeah. i know you got a lot to say about this yeah. <laughs> mm. no yes and no yes no? and no so okay, i know ahead. you thought that I would, that i would say so we're talking chakra from naruto um i know you probably think i have a lot to say on this but really i don't i mean pros for pros for chakra for me is everybody has the shit everybody has the ability to go to ninja school a lot of people go to ninja school to me personally it doesn't look too hard to pass it looks like a regular boot camp to me it's just in their world um everybody has the ability to be a ninja most men in the and there are ninjas most of all of them are um and you kind of learn what you want to learn i feel like every jutsu and ability depending on your chakra nature yeah. is available to you you can literally find out where your chakra nature is and then do whatever the fuck you want the con to it though is chakra levels so like a lot of people there's people that are born with like massive amounts of chakra levels and others that aren't and that's not something you can really build mm. you as you grow up you get more chakra levels as you grow up but when you hit your peak you kind of hit your peak and unless you become a gene chiriki like you're kind of fucked you know yeah, like, that, that definitely leads into my kind with the whole thing and unless, unless you have special eyes or you were born of yeah. a special clan like everyone has chakra cool good job oh you can you can do fire i can do fire too you can do yeah. water i can do water too it's like chakra think, is just basic i think every i think every power we're gonna talk about definitely has like a, if you were born in this certain time or you had this certain thing given to you you'd be better but i think anybody can be anybody can be great in a chakra world you just have to study and i feel like a lot of people they undervalued a lot of the people in naruto because naruto trained so fucking hard mm. and like it made everybody else look like do dog shit right so like if i was kiba right talking about fang over fang right mm. like that's all he ever fucking does and it's like he could have done so much more but because they didn't want what it, they want I, I don't know i don't know i don't know That's his it. clan <laughs> that man just bite people i'm just i'm just saying that i think chakra is a good one like i think the pros outweigh the cons because everything is readily available to you anybody mm. can do anything as long as it's not like a keke genkai or you know a a eye jutsu you know what i'm saying like which i guess it is a, it's a, a visual jutsu you know so like hell you could take a fucking if you're strong enough you could take a sharingan and plop the shit in your eye and use it you know what i'm saying yeah kagashi. so like yeah, what Kakashi did. So, well, he didn't take it, but he, you know, I mean, he yeah, was yeah. giving it. And Donzo, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that motherfucker, but, you know, hey, yo. Donzo did this shit. <laughs> Donzo, so, the hero of the Uchiha, relax. Stop. <laughs> I'll see if I can show you real quick. <laughs> no, we're not getting into this. That's another, that's another episode. I have to talk hours on Donzo. <laughs> no, but I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons for Chakra because mm -hmm. there's a lot it's readily available there's a lot of shit that you can you can do with chakra and it's you can train literally it. a untapped power source that you can form anything you can dead so, ass train and i it hate i hated it in naruto it seemed like everyone was so fucking lazy like bro mm -hmm. just train your chakra learn something new yeah. be I innovative like lazy. i feel like they looked lazy because they wanted to emphasize how hard naruto was training to overcome people so I think that's why they look lazy. But the one thing I didn't like was that everybody seemed like they only had a one trick. Mm -hmm. Like they were a one trick pony. I mean, they only did one specific thing. Naruto had you know a one saying? trick pony too. God, I mean, he I just changed that. the color of his pony. Sometimes it was no, blue, sometimes it was yellow, that. green. I, I wouldn't say that. He learned a lot of new jutsus. Oh, okay. Now he, he started using Magma Rasen Rasen Shuriga. You right. Look, the Rasengan is definitely a trick that he used a bunch of times but he had a bunch of other shit he was doing too so mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think he was definitely just strong um but Stronger i think pros out, do you agree do you agree the pros outweigh the cons for for chakra though um i don't know chakra i i'm, I'm honestly going to tell you i'm not a fan of chakra because like i said in that world all you need is a certain pair of eyes or a certain bloodline to have a kick of genkai and you outright it doesn't matter what chakra you have, what different jutsus you know, because you're going to get beat by someone who has a special something about them. For example, Kakashi. 
Kakashi, his chakra pool wasn't that huge. But the fact that he managed to eventually get a Sharingan um, in, in his life, he was able to be better than most other Shinobi. Well, also, but you have to think, Kakashi's beaten a lot of people without using the Sharingan. I mean, Kakashi, just, you're right. He's naturally Kakashi great. was a prodigy even before the Sharingan. Kakashi was a so prodigy. It's, it's possible. Sasuke. He's a good bloodline. He's Sasuke. Good. That's my that's my next example. Sasuke was mediocre. Sasuke needed that Sharingan. The Sharingan awakening in, in Sasuke gave him the edge he needed uh, to be anything I would in say, that show. I would say with his character model, I agree with you. Okay. I would say if he didn't have that and he wasn't put on the path he was put on, I feel like he would still be a really strong character. Yeah, he would have been a strong character. I mean, like, but, ga the gate guards need to be strong, too. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I don't think he... For his character model, he definitely needed the Sharingan because his problem... His, his the the whole ability of his right like his mm. his conflict within was that he was using his power as a crutch mm. and that's why he he needed his power in order to beat these people but he didn't really need it if he would have just chilled the fuck out but he used it as a crutch and so mm. i see where you're coming from where like he needed it in order to do because that's what he that's what he pretty much he made it known that he's like, I'm after the Mangekyo Sharingan. I'm after uh, making my Jutsu stronger. I need to fucking do this. Like, my power is the only thing I have. Fuck everybody else. Mm -hmm. But if he just said, you know, like, I'm going to keep training and fuck the power and didn't use it as a crutch and branched out, I still think he'd be really strong. I feel you. So, okay, okay. Uh, Naruto. I mean, take, Asuma. Take, take away the Karama. Asuma. Asuma? What, what about him? He wasn't part of any strong bloodline except for... The third Hokage, which that wasn't even part of a strong bloodline. Asuma Saratobi? Yeah, Saratobi. Yep. Where, where is he? A lot of Six people. feet down. He can't he can't be he can't die and be strong. He, he can't, can't strong die and be die. strong. I mean he was a great ninja. Like in his own he's right, right even be, he before have, like he joined he like have the have ninja Jonin. He, he was eyes. he was killing he was things. A, he had no Keke Genkai. And then he, he got taken eyes. and then he got packed up by a guy with a ponytail. By Hidan. By what? Well, yeah, pretty much Hidan. But <laughs> it was by Hidan and Kakuzu, but they were super well, strong. On. They darted and pack him up? No, no, it, it was Hidan. No, it, it was the one who go into pieces. Yeah. yeah, the blood. Yeah, and neither neither one of them were born from a strong bloodline either, and they are still strong as fuck and wiping the world. So, I mean, what are we talking about? Hidan? Hidan was using some ritual magic just to get some yeah. lame ass hacks that was figured out by I mean, a teenage he was boy. Definitely, he, he got packed was, by a teenager. He was definitely using whatever the fuck he, he needed. I mean, I feel you. I feel you. But, but, but then he, he got he didn't have a, with a teenager. Your, your argument with your a argument shadow possession. That, your argument was that unless, unless born, you have unless some type of bloodline. Ask, what about the Akatsuki? I mean, there's only like, what, two of them that were born in a good bloodline? Let's look at the Akatsuki. You got Itachi. You got, Itachi? You got Pain, who has the eyes. You have who? That's two. That's the two I was talking about. Then you, you have, have Conan. No, you got Fish Boy. Well, I, I know all. Of them. I don't know. You go ahead. All right, so you have Itachi. We talked about Pain, which I took those away because they're the ones born okay. into a strong okay. bloodline. Okay. All right. You have Orochimaru, who was definitely a part of the fucking Akatsuki, super strong fucking ninja, not a part of any special bloodline. And the reason why he was a super strong ninja is because he literally stepped on the heads of his fellow Shinobi brother in order to steal Jutsu you in order to be powerful. You can't make excuses. No, you can't make excuses. He you had to kill... Born... No, no, you're, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. No, you're right. Oh my God. I did say unless they're no, born. No, no. But at the end you of the day, said, who packed up Orochi? You can't say... Who packed up Orochi? No, you can't go He got say, packed up by no, Sasuke listen, 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 and he bro, got packed up not, by his big brother. You can't say... Unless you're born into a good clan or you have eyes, there's not. You're pretty much done. But then when I bring you a character, you make an excuse and say, "Well, they had to do this to get strong." Of course they did, but they did. And so then he got packed up by someone who had eyes. So that, that still falls into my point. But he, got, he still got packed up who had someone who got eyes. He's still right? alive. He's still alive. Okay, but did he not get packed up? It doesn't matter. He's still Twice? alive. He's strong. He's still alive. And now he's been turned into some into some household fucking character. That's Boruto. I'm not talking about Boruto. Hey, you don't want to bring up he's still alive. Where is he alive? He is. Where is he alive? He is alive. In Boruto. I'm, saying, I'm sorry. Can't, I'm sorry. I can't give you... I can give you so many characters that are strong that are still alive and you're going to just Okay, go, let me, let oh, me hear it. Let me hear it. Uh, I just gave you Asuma, Orochimaru... Got Konos, defeated by a, a teenager and got defeated by a 19-year-old. Next. Who? 
Asuma. No, I'm talking about fucking Rochimaru. Next. Okay, Kakuzu. Strong Kakuzu. Hold on, Kakuzu is... He's the dude with the faces on his body and does the whole, like, long arm things or whatever. What was that He's about? The one that killed... What was that about? Like, what was, was his body his, made of? It, it was just his, like... So, it, there was a... So, back in the day, he was pretty much a part of, like, this clan that did... I forgot what the fuck they called it. So it was a clan. That was so long ago. So it was a it, clan. Not like a not like a clan is in like uh, <laughs> Uchiha clan. Everybody's a part of a fucking clan. So it was a clan thing though. Everybody's he a part He was born of a, a part of a certain clan. Everybody's a part ah, of a clan. He kinda he kinda falls. It's, it's okay. No, he's on that no, he's on that line. No, Be- he's not. Is no, he's not. because Uh-oh. of his clan juice. You didn't even let me finish, first of all. I'm his I'm clan sorry. got wiped the fuck out. Mm-hmm. His clan got wiped the fuck out. And he's been roaming the earth for like hundreds of years because he did this chakra thing with his body that allows him to retain these like spirit weird things that nobody's ever seen before. He's the only person on the planet that can fucking do it. Oh, so it wasn't a clan. Found the, he found, no, that's what I'm saying. You gotta let me fucking finish. Um, the, he found this thing. It, like, I don't know what the fuck. I forgot. It was in Shapiro a long time ago. I don't remember. But... Mm-hmm. He did this own specific thing that allowed him to retain chakra energies, like, in his body. Mm. And that's what kind of kept him alive, and it gave him multiple hearts. And everybody he would kill that's strong, mm. he would put that heart in his body and use that chakra energy. Mm. If that, I mean, I don't know if, that, if I'm explaining it too correctly, but he wasn't, he didn't have special eyes. He wasn't a special clan. Everybody has a clan. I mean, the Aki, like, the... Literally everybody, you call them by their name, the Saratobi clan, the fucking Uzumaki clan, the fuck, I mean, everybody has a clan. I mean, but, but if, a, if the clan gives a you a, a special edge, that's the point, but, but not his, in his case, his, not in his get, case. He didn't get a special, yeah. He, yeah, he's, he he's a weird case. He's a very he weird hard. case. He's not a weird case, he's strong. He's literally he's a weird hard. case. We don't even understand. Anyways. So, so you got Conan, uh, she's kind of weak, but she was still pretty strong. Um, she was still wiping the paper girl, the paper bomb girl. Pain was the only one, or was it pain? Who was it? I think pain was the only one that wiped her out. Um, you got, uh, no, cause he, okay. So, well, technically, okay. So you have, I was going to say Toby, but Toby's technically Madara Obito. So like, I'll give you those three. I forgot he was there. Um, so you got Toby, you have, uh, Datara. Datara is not part of a clan. The, pu- the puppet well, guy. He was pretty strong, but he got packed up by his so, so, But Sasori, so but that kind of has your... that That's in your clan theory, because he was a part of the... He was... He, well, he created that's special. puppeteering. I mean, anybody can do puppeteering. That was like a sand mm-hmm. village He created thing. it, though. He created puppeteering. I mean, but that was like a sand village thing. He invented thing. it. So, um, yeah. I'll give you that. Isn't he a... All right, all right, yeah. chat. This is going to be the moment he, oh. he re- he's looking for. Maui, you are oh, you are you are you are slightly right. I will give it to you. You don't necessarily need it, but at the end I, of the day, I, no, I agreed with you. I said yes. If you're part of a eyes or you were part of a clan that gives you an edge, one hundred percent. But you don't need to to be strong. You don't need to to still be, still be alive and be strong. Now, yes, that one hundred percent gives you an edge over everybody, hands down. Won't won't lie to you, right? But you don't need to. Okay, you okay. I guess I can I can agree with that statement then. But we'll be on this for even longer if I don't agree with that statement. So move on to the next one. So you don't agree with that? I will agree with that statement because the statement you said, yes, 100%, they will beat them, but you don't need it in order to be strong and still alive. I agree with that statement. Even though most people you said on that list are dead because of somebody with a gin Cherokee or matching guys. That's neither here or there. I mean, those people (laughs) are like mains. I mean, of course, they have to die. They had to get taken out by Maine. Unless it was so, Luffy. Like, Luffy would just beat their ass and walk away. Well, I'm just saying, like, Deidara was, like, fucked up by Naruto and Kaka. Like, they have to because they're part of the storyline. But, mm-hmm. I mean, we're not really going to learn of anybody else if they're not a part of the storyline. And if they're a bad guy, they're going to get wiped. They yeah, just because that's, that's the point. Like, they have to. But, I mean, let's talk about Kakuzu being alive for hundreds of years and nobody ever packed him up until Naruto the show. So, whatever. Kakuzu but, was alive for hundreds of years? That's lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was alive for a long time. Because he would just take organs and body parts. And then and he's like a teenager. Damn. Yeah. Uh, actually, demon no, weapon. Kakashi beat him. So what is that? Demon weapon. So demon weapon is not actually a demon weapon. So what this is portraying everybody is Soul Eater. Now Soul Eater isn't... That's pretty much... It's on Netflix if you haven't seen it. It's a very old anime. Mm. Um, they calling these demon weapons because the people turn into weapons. 
And how that works is there's a weapon and then there's a meister. A meister is somebody who is in charge of a weapon or a person. Mm. So like if me and you were partners, one of us would be a weapon and one you, the other one would be a meister. And you pretty much like, say you're the weapon and I'm the meister and we run into some bad guys and we have to go do some shit. I'm like, you ready? You're like, yeah, let's go. And then you just, and you turn into a weapon and I fight with you. Does it get it's special not a demon. powers? Yeah, so it's not a demon weapon. There's nothing demon related. It's... The thing is, the reason why they put this on here is because of Death. Mm. Um, Death is a guy who's in charge of the Meister Academy. Um, so the... I forgot exactly what they call it. But he's in charge of the Meister Academy. It's a school for Meisters. Yeah. And their weapons. And they eat souls. The weapons eat souls. Uh, that's why they're called soul eaters. Mm. Um, but they're not demons. So... Now, these weapons don't necessarily have any special powers. The only one that really has special powers or can do more is Subaki and Blackstar. So Subaki and Blackstar, Blackstar is the Meister and Subaki is the weapon. She was part of a clan, right? Mm. Uh, she was part of a clan that um, had the demon, it's like the, not demon, it's called the Black Sword. I think it is the Demon Sword, actually, but that's the only one, so... Mm. Don't don't use it for the rest. But like isn't the, demon the isn't the actual sword? Isn't he part of like a clan too? Like the best um, swords. People? So no, so so Subaki is his weapon, and she was a part of the clan with the demon black sword, mm -hmm. and she didn't learn how to use it until later in the show, and she finally figured out how to turn into that weapon. Um, but Black Star is about the only one in the show where his weapon can turn into multiple different weapons. Mm -hmm. So. But it doesn't really give you any special powers. So, like, the pros and cons to this is pros. It's, like, it's cool because you you can turn somebody into a weapon and you have, like, you have the basic anime physical fitness, right? Like, you mm. can jump on buildings and jump around and fight and do craziness. Can it fly to you? Like, it, like come back yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. if they're a weapon, it can, it can kind of go to you. But a lot of problems happen with Maki and Soul Eater. So the, the main character is, her name is Maki. She's the Meister and Soul Eater of Soul Eater is her weapon. Mm. And there's been times where Maki's been caught with it, caught lacking and Soul Eater wasn't around. And so she couldn't use a weapon. Mm. So she's kind of fucked. You know what I'm saying? So they're not so always so together? Like, she can't, like, They, they are them. always together, but, like, Soul Eater, like, the weapons hang out together, the Meisters hang out together, they all hang out together together. You know, like, Meisters and weapons, they're all friends, right? Mm. But... They're not always together. So it's like, it's kind of that point where it's like, if you had like chakra or something, chakra is always in your body and you can fight whenever you want. But like, unless you have your weapon with you, you're not doing anything. And your weapons don't necessarily have any powers e either. Now they do in a sense to where like Maki, um, they have like a special power. They have like one, you know, XX down, down, YY, you know, like mm -hmm. they have one special broken power. Uh, Maki's is witch witch eater. Was it witch witch killer? Yeah, witch killer. So she has this thing where she turns her scythe into this giant like it's like a glowing double scythe. Yeah, yeah. And it right. like yeah, it goes like it's like witch eater, witch killer, whatever. And she does her special move. Uh, but that's I mean that's really about it. Uh, you know, I don't know if like, I would choose this verse in and, and, and that's me neither. Um, and. The cool thing is, and the whole point is, you have to eat 99 souls and one witch soul. Mm. And that's how you turn your scythe, uh, that's how you turn your weapon into death scythe. Like a death scythe. So they're stronger than other weapons. Um, and Maki's dad is a death scythe. But the shitty part is, is like, when you become a death scythe, which I never understood. When you become a death scythe, when a weapon becomes a death scythe, you become death's personal weapon. So it's like, I have to give you my weapon after doing all this work. Like, it's kind of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's kind of weird. I remember, like, like the, the first th episode is about the girl and, obviously, the boy who's her weapon. And they're trying yeah. to kill the witch. And something happens and they mess up and they have to, like, start all over again. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, like, the show is interesting. I watched it's a, a good show. But yeah. I don't think I like the power system that much. No, I don't I don't like the power. The, the cons definitely outweigh the pros for this one on, for, for me because, like, if you don't have your weapon, you're fucked. Um, once you actually upgrade your weapon that nobody's really ever able to do, you have to give your weapon up to death. Um, they went out, what the scene they're talking about is they went to go, they got their 99 souls and they finally went to go kill a witch. And the girl turned out to not be a witch, she was just a magical cat who turned into a human that wore a witch hat and they thought she was a witch. Um, and then they ended up killing her and taking, eating her soul 
but she has nine lives. She has nine souls because she's a cat. And so they fucked up, and if you eat any other souls except for the ones you're supposed to, a demons are a Kishin soul or a fucking witch soul, then they had to start all over again. I um, mean, so they had to write the plot somehow, but yeah. I mean... I'm kind of upset that they didn't continue the show because it's actually a good show. I was just about to ask if they finish it. Uh, no, they didn't. Because at the end, they were fighting like a really strong enemy. Um, um, but Soul, Soul will never turn into a death site. Is that the one I, I think I said that's connected to um, Fire Force? Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I tried to look it up and try to see, but like, I don't really... Well, I found the video um, on YouTube that actually had a pretty good explanation of it. You gotta send it out. Yeah, it out. I'll look for it. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I don't know. Cons outweigh cons outweigh the pros for this one. Yeah, definitely me. not a <laughs> definitely not a go for me. Right. I mean, from what I so, saw, it's an interesting yeah. show, but definitely not something I'm like. Yeah, give me a demon weapon or give me one a friend who could also turn into I a think, weapon. I think they continued the manga, but they haven't continued the anime. And the Soul Eater's been out for like fifteen fucking years. I don't know. It's been on it's long, like shorter than that. But, hey, you know, but just, speaking of a fucking show that's been out for a while, Yu Yu Hakusho with the energy. I actually yeah, read into that. They had yeah, they, a lot more than I remember when it comes came to energies and the option. I looked up I looked up some stuff about this guy. You're gonna have to talk about this one because I don't know much about energy from Yu Yu Hakusho, but I did look it up to know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely I remember you know reading about life energy, demon energy, spirit like all these different types of energies. So I mean, yeah, I don't know much about it. I, I from what I remember from the show. Mm. Oh, there's other ones on this list that I would choose over. Energy, but go ahead. So go ahead. spirit energy is energy every person has. So you can right. harness your spirit right. energy. Right. Now it doesn't guarantee that your spirit energy is going to be strong. Obviously, right. you're a meshy. He's um beginning of the show when we first learned about spirits and everything, spirit energy. He uh, just had a stronger spirit energy than most um humans, and then he ended up dying and become the spirit, and so on and so forth. So yeah. that's spirit energy. Anybody can get it. Kurobara, like the other main character part of his group, he was able to harness that sword with the spirit energy. And it's usually white. His was like orange. It's usually like a nice light color. Next, you got that demon energy. And that's energy, same as spirit energy for humans. Demon energy is for demons. Yeah. And obviously, because the demons, they tend to be stronger. So demon energy, demon energy is known to be stronger than the um, actual um, spirit energy. Then you have life energy. Life energy is... I don't understand why they kind of like differentiate between life energy and spirit and demon energy because life energy is like that last bit of energy that holds your life. So essentially yeah. if you use that energy, you die. Or you're going toward death. It happens a few times. A few members of the team actually had to use it, but they were actually saved in the end. But life energy yeah. is essentially the energy that keeps you alive. And then you have like the special, um, the special spirit energy, um, where you, um, like, like the holy energy. Like only one person in the show had that energy. And then um, your Meshi was able to do something where he mixed because he was like part demon, part human. So he mixed yeah. his demon energy with the spirit energy to make it kind of like that perfect um, energy. So it's it's yeah. it's a huge thing when it comes so, to energies. But the show was about demons and so people like the demons. So what's your pros and cons of, of energy? Because I, I, like I said, I've read into it a little bit, and I think pros are that it's readily available. Like the basic levels are readily available for everybody. But right? it's not that strong. But but like you, like you said, that's what I was gonna say. Like you said, that doesn't necessarily kind of like alchemy. Like it's available, but unless you get trained on it or unless you are you know born special. There's not much you could do with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm gonna go, oh. I'm gonna go ahead just like before. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a big zero, because honestly, right. like you said, you have to either be born to have a huge amount of spirit energy. You can be gifted a huge amount of spirit energy. We did see that happen um, in the show, but you had to be like a certain level to be able to be gifted that spirit energy. And yeah. you have, or you have to train under someone who's like a master. Like we see yeah. that he's trained by someone who's a master of that spirit of yeah. spirit energy. So honestly, yeah. if you're not one of those, you're going to suck. It's pretty much the luck of the draw and the luck of the draw and pretty much being born in that universe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then the whole show is like they're fighting demons. Like demons are the, the strongest ones. And then like yeah. they have a tournament where they're fighting a whole bunch of demons. And of course, your Meshi is, is half demon, half human. But the other person on the team is Kubara. And he's the weakest on the team because he's just a human 
who yeah. just has strong spirit energy that he can use this little sword thing. So I'm I'm not a huge fan. I definitely wouldn't okay. say, oh, I definitely need to get spirit, um, energy because that's the best thing. No, if once again, if you're not born with a lot of it. All right, so the next one, the next two, of course, for some reason on the picture you sent me are from the same fucking show. That's your favorite show. <laughs> because there's two different power uh, systems. What do you mean? Uh, okay. Um, so we got hockey and the, pretty much we can link them together. Hockey and the and and You can add link them together. So Maui hasn't I gotten that I far know. yet. To see hockey. I know, He's seen I know Devil Fruit. Yeah. I can speak on Devil Fruit. Hockey, you've explained it to me before. Uh huh. Um, but let's do let's do Devil Fruit first, since you know. That. Okay, let's do, yeah. So my pros and cons of Devil Fruit is I, I'm gonna give it a zero only because you have to find one. Mm -hmm. If you don't find one, you're like that's yeah. Like, it's pointless. Whatever. You know, like it's pointless. And then if you do fucking magically find one, what if it's like some dumb shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which, oh, excuse me, which. All of them can be used, and it's like you've seen people use their devil fruits in like out out of the box type of ways. We're just like, oh shit! Like I'm like Luffy, right? Like he thought for the longest that all he could do was just do his little stretchy thing, and then he figured out new ways to use it and mm -hmm. do like do different things with it. But like, and then especially being in a show for pirates where you are on the water all the time and you're gonna drown if you go into what, like, you know, I I wouldn't I get. You know, I think the cons and pros for Devil Fruit, cons definitely. I don't see any pros besides maybe if you find a really good one and if you're smart enough to, like, figure out how to use hockey to make it better. Mm. So, I I, I, I definitely agree with you where I would say that I wouldn't purposely or say I definitely want to choose the power system of Devil Fruits. Why? Because devil. Not everyone has a devil fruit. In in certain parts of the world, it's devil fruits are very rare. We see in the beginning of the yep. show, rarely anyone has a devil fruit. But then you see as you start watching the show that more people have devil fruit because they're in the part of the world where more the more people who have devil fruits, the more likely devil fruits will appear. More, and it's like yep. one of those systems where devil fruit users are drawn to each now, other. I have to ask you, for devil fruits like. Or I guess the question is, how are they created, or is there a place that they grow that you can find a devil fruit, or do you just have to randomly come across one? See that, and that also plays into why I wouldn't choose necessarily choose this because devil fruits are one hundred percent random. So one devil fruit exists. So say I have a fire devil fruit. How does that fire devil fruit get transferred? Well, the uh, only known way, because as we see, um, and maybe you've seen yourself, Blackbeard was able to take a devil fruit from somebody and keep it yeah. for himself. And is also known to have taken it and given it to people of his crew. From I'm sorry, mm -hmm. from other devil fruit users. So yeah. from what we know, I would have to die. And when I die, my fire devil fruit will appear somewhere else in the world. On a um in like some type of fruit, so they're like the Dragon Balls. <laughs> like yeah, once you yeah, use like them, they just they just. So imagine you have an apple tree in your, in your yeah. yard, and then one day you go outside and you see one of your apples has turned to a devil fruit. That's exactly how it happens. One of them, one day because somebody died, that devil fruit just appeared in your apple tree, or you have that's, a strawberry yeah, bush and you find it. You see what I mean? So it's so hard to find the devil fruits, and it's so unlikely yeah. that even if you find a devil fruit, you might, like you say, you might find some stupid ass shit. But you can also use yeah. it. So another thing is, just because you have devil fruit, it doesn't make you so powerful that no one can beat you. There's devil fruit yeah. users who like this is one guy, and like people always call this episode like, oh, this is just filler. This is not real. This is actually happening in the manga. Where this guy has um, a slow, slow fruit. And this ability, basically, every time he does this, he slows down his target to like slow motion. But yeah. because he's not like super physically fit, he's not super yeah. strong himself, fast or anything, he kind of only uses it to play games because that's the only thing he can really use it to actually win using that yeah. devil fruit with. So just because you find a devil fruit, even because yeah. you find a strong devil fruit, doesn't necessarily going to mean you you're going to be strong. You can literally be traveling. You could be a pirate and travel the world trying to find a devil fruit and you'll waste your entire lifetime trying to find a devil fruit. Mm -hmm. That's like the RNG gods need to be on your side for that factual, shit. Factual, factual. So, I don't... But I know, to get, to get into the next one, since, I mean, you know about hockey, and I don't know too much about mm -hmm. that, I know you can make your Devil Fruit power stronger with hockey, so go ahead and tell us about that one, because I'm not sure about that. I wouldn't say oh, you yes. can make your Devil Fruit power well, stronger with hockey. Luffy has used it. it. 
Yeah, Luffy yeah. has used it actually hockey to make his devil fruit power stronger. So how hockey works is once again like you're going to hear multiple times in anime. Hockey is um, like the embodiment of your will, your human will, your will to live, your will to keep on fighting, so on and so mm-hmm. forth. So there's three different types of hockey. You have observation hockey, which allows you to do things such as sensing people around you, sensing the feelings of people around you. It can be um, a um, advanced to be able to seeing a few seconds into the future. You have um, armament hockey that you can use to um, the le- first level is simply hardening your body. So you can, if somebody fighting you with a sword and you don't have a sword, you can turn your um, arms to armament hockey and fight with using yeah. your arms with against the sword. So that's yeah. one um, way. Advanced armament hockey, you can start to use that to push your will through the skin of your opponent to actually attack them from the inside of their bodies. You can penetrate them yes you can penetrate them <laughs> and, and it gets used so i so it i gets have used. Right. <laughs> uh, anyway so, uh, well, what, you hold on there's still it's still one more once one more so we got observation okay. we got um armament and then lastly you got um the most important one this is going to be um conqueror's hockey so conqueror's okay. hockey is essentially um not everyone in the world can even get conqueror's hockey so yeah. only a few people can get conqueror's hockey they have to be like so super focused, um, the special people. We're not even going to get into yeah. what who can get Congress hockey. Heck very Genkai, very few it. people can get. Yeah. Not, it's not even a bloodline thing. Like it's totally random, but they, it has to be something about them that they can actually yeah. harness this this um, hockey, this type of hockey. What this okay. hockey primary it can do? It can knock out people around you. So anyone who yeah. doesn't have it as strong as will as you, and they're in your vicinity, you can knock them out instantly. They'll, they'll fall asleep right there in front of you. That sounds like another power we're going to get into <laughs> once again. Yeah, true, true, true. Just like that. Um, and then an advanced form of that, you can use that with your um, with your, like your hits, with your sword, with yeah, your hits, yeah. to actually push your um, will like into somebody else's body. So adding that with yeah. your arm in it, it just makes your punches or it makes your sword yeah. cuts even stronger. So why, how does Luffy use yeah. hockey to um, make himself stronger? He uses hockey to control his body like to hold it tight you know how um, yeah. tighter a rubber band is the stronger yeah. it is he expands his body huge and then he uses the hockey to compress it so it becomes tighter and harder so that his body is more impenetrable he's in it he's able to do things such as flying in the air by simply popping his body over and over again like a rubber band so that's how he uses hockey to actually be sure so what's so what's the pros and cons of it then what like so you said hockey is available to everybody right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. anybody like can have hockey available. But then, once again, it's, you know, you said there's one that you have to be really strong or you have to be trained. Conquer, hockey. You, yeah, yeah, you have to, like, be, it's random for you to get that one. So, um, pros and cons of the hockey system, I would, one, first off, I would say, yes, I would 100% take a hockey system. Um, the pros of a hockey system, um, anybody can have hockey. You can train your own hockey. You don't need somebody, you don't need a teacher to train your hockey. Of course, having a teacher is going to be beneficial in the long run, but you can train your own hockey. You can't really hockey. use that as an excuse though, <laughs> because you can find a teacher anywhere. So I mean, yeah, you can you find you just a teacher go travel anywhere. And find a teacher. You can use hockey to um, increase your own ability so you can make yourself stronger, more durable, faster, so on and so forth. If you have a devil fruit just like you, Luffy, you can use hockey to make that even more powerful. Um, okay. Only only con is um, Congress hockey. You may or may not get Congress hockey. You may be born into yeah. it. You may not get Congress hockey. And the other con, if you don't have hockey, you lose. You lose. That's that's that's, that's the one piece world. You can have a devil fruit against some, a regular person. Most times out of ten, you're going to win. But a regular person can beat somebody with devil fruit. If the person has hockey and you don't, you're going to lose. In the day, in I, the mean, I mean that makes sense. Like you get, and that goes along with the con of devil fruit. Is like even if I get a devil fruit and it sucks, if I can't use hockey and I go up against a normal person without a devil fruit, but they have hockey, mm-hmm. I'm losing. They'll be trash. So they like, say the um, person, the, um, King the King of Pirates, the original one, Goldie Roger from the beginning yeah. of the story, he didn't have a devil fruit. He only had hockey. He is the yeah. the most powerful pirate known, at least what we think, and he yeah. never had a devil fruit. Only hockey. Kaido even gave him his ups. I'll say, I'll say, I like hockey. I like it. I mm-hmm. like it. Sounds good. Um, okay, so let's talk about some key from Dragon Ball Z. Ugh. So, or Dragon Ball, I guess. Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon Ball. Ball. Um, so my pros and cons are I like key, and, but the only thing is, oh, once again, if I mean we said we can't make that excuse, everybody has key, mm-hmm. so everybody can use key. 
they have the the thing where people are talking about like everybody can fly like everybody can fly everybody can use key they can use key transformations but nobody ever uses it nobody even knows about it mm. all they know is that it's just there it's not like the naruto world where chakra is like everybody knows ninjas exist and you can use chakra to do jutsu yeah um, nobody knows that they can use their key to actually fly and nobody trains for it so unless you're super super strong and there's only a few people in the dragon ball like world like earth right and we're not talking about like other places but like earth right because we're on earth um there's only like 10 people that are actually fighters on the planet mm. everybody else like they have to pretty much travel the world to find like goku has to travel the world to find people to fight mm. you know so it's not like everybody there is a fighter like naruto where most people are ninjas right so um he is kind of like it's kind of like a chakra system it's just like it's there it's readily available yeah. but unless you like are fucking born to goku or you go somehow make friends with a god or go up to the hyperbolic time chamber like there's nothing you can really do with it yeah. now key is definitely an advancement but the problem with key i feel is that they i feel like they should have put saiyan energy on here because whatever but once he learned key and learned how to do his key transformation and learned how to sense things before not before they happened but like key made him his senses stronger it made him faster stuff like that but once he started learning like ssj4 ssj5 like it just key went out the window like there's no yeah. point in using it now I hear you, you know like one. he doesn't need that anymore so i don't like the power scaling of key only because if i know i have key and i know i'm putting the world like dragon ball i know i'm fucked mm. like if that's all i know how to do and i'm not a saiyan i'm fucked like there's nothing i can do against that you know what i'm saying so you know me and dragon ball <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually not a I love, You're not a big fan. I actually but. love Key. Because Key was the best thing about Dragon Ball. And they should have like like you said, they should have kept on with it. Now they actually did keep on with it. So I actually like before this I, I read up on Key a little bit. They kept on going. So we know about the regular Key. Um he when he was first able to access it. One first off, let's start with if you know Key, you're powerful. Yeah. Perfect example, yeah. Krillin. Yeah. Krillin is just a regular ass person. Who learned key, key, and he can yeah. drop anybody who's a human in the, on Earth. He can drop them on their head easily. So that's yeah. that's why I, if I had the choice, hey, you want to be in a world with key? Yes, but I want to know key. I want to know it exists, and I want to yeah. find someone who, who would kind of give me the basics of it. Yeah. I'm to yeah. totally okay with it. But Dragon Ball should have stayed with the key system, like kind of continue to capitalize on the system. Yeah. They did start talking about things such as God key. God key yeah. does exist. Um, saying, saying key is like still the regular the key, but yeah. you start to access the more higher levels of the key, yeah. and it kind of start not making sense. Like if yeah. you look at a full diagram of all the different levels Goku has, it's not just Goku Super Saiyan two, Super Saiyan three, Super. It's like Goku, Goku point one, point point two, point three, yeah. because key just, the key advance world, is actually making them stronger, yeah. stronger. In a world where in a world where there's like Super Saiyans and all kinds of nonsense, like. I don't think key is going to do much. Like, yes, you are powerful. Yes, you are powerful with key if you know it, mm -hmm. right? Like you said, if I was going to get dropped there and they're like, hey, you're not a Saiyan, but you have key. I'm going to be like, drop me, make bor bor birth me to somebody who knows how to train me in it mm -hmm. and knows how to teach me how to use it. Don't just put me on the earth with no, like, I know I have it, but, like, I don't know how to use it kind mm -hmm. of thing, you know? So I don't know because I Krillin was able to keep up with, like, people who are strong like from aliens not not no frieza yeah. but Fr frieza's henchman you have killed them cut simply yeah. just from key i'm totally okay with not being a saiyan just having key i agree with that that statement mm, yeah i i, I can see it it's just not my favorite and, and that world oh i'll be a saiyan any be. day i agree with that yeah but. I, i'd rather be something else yeah so, <laughs> um, um, give me let me be a namic so i can like combine with other namic that makes so, sense <laughs> I'm not even going to touch on the next one. I don't care. This shit's stupid. Bro, I'm not even going you don't to even so, know, bro. No, uh, we're talking about stands from fucking JoJo. I don't... Hey, look at, look at, bro. Stand by. Anyway, <laughs> so stands. <laughs> I'm going to talk about stands because I love JoJo Bizarre. Give me your pros and cons. I don't even want to know about them. I don't care. Well, Just, you gotta, <laughs> well, the people got to know what stands are. So stands are, again, the embodiment of the person's um, will. 
like the will to fight, the will to live, so so on and so forth. The thing about stands is though, you don't choose your stand. You get the stand you get. So if you are a lucky person, one, not everyone has stands. At, yep. In some different seasons, they say you can um, kind of, it's this thing that can give people stands, but once you get a stand, whatever stand you have, you, you get, get what you get. get. Yeah. Now, you can develop your stand. You can make your stand stronger. You can be innovative with your stand. That's a thing I love about the JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, the di different innovations with the stands themselves. But yeah. at the end of the day, you get what you get. So if your stand sucks, then you suck. Now, um, some pros of the stands themselves, like I said before, you can develop your stand. You can make it better. Um, a con, if you don't have a stand... You can't see someone with a stand. So a pro for a stand user, if the person doesn't have a stand, you can beat the fuck up out of them because they can't see the stand and they can't do anything about it. Only stands can fight stands. So if someone has a stand, the only way to fight him is if you have a stand. So if you yeah. don't, you're going to lose. You don't even know he has a stand in the first place. Um, yeah. Another thing is if your stand gets hurt, you get hurt. So if your stand um, is, There's if you have a type of stand that requires you to be close quarter and you, you're going against a stand that is a long distance fighter, if you're not smart enough to get close enough, they're just going to beat up on your stand and you're going to eventually die. If your stand gets hurt enough, you will die. That is definitely a con of it. Now, would I choose to live in a world with stands? No, because it's very rare. Very, very, it's not even 1%. It's like 0.001% of the people on earth have stands. It's so rare, and you may not even know you have a stand. The stand may even kill you. If your will isn't strong enough, your stand can kill you. Once your stand develops it, and you're not strong enough, like mentally, physically, it will kill you. So that sounds like, a, was it Jujutsu Kaisen? Wait, summoning the, no, that was, a, so Blue Exorcist. Blue Exorcist, they have an ability to summon demons. Uh, to summon demon familiars, and if you're not, if your will isn't strong, your familiars will turn and kill you. Mm. I thought that was, that was pretty, pretty on the nose for that. One. But um, yeah, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't choose stands. I wouldn't necessarily choose people, stands. I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose a stand. You gotta be um, really smart though. So like the the lead, the main character JoJo in all the iterations, it's not that they have this OP stand. It's they have a great stand, but they're smart and they can utilize their stand yeah. in these huge yeah. amount different ways. So I think that's for most powers, though. Most of the powers on here, if you're, like, really smart, you don't have to be broken, mm -hmm. you know? You're just really smart, and you can think outside of the box, you're good. But um, So the next one is Magoi from fucking, um, well, the, I guess the Sinbad universe, but from Aladdin, Alibaba, all that nonsense. Um, I think Magoi from Magi, I like Magoi. Mm -hmm. I really do. I love Magoi. I think it's really dope. However... Um, Everybody has Magoi. It's again, it's it's like you have to be special in order for them to be attracted to you. Mm -hmm. So Magoi, you can tell so Ma Magi Magi is or Aladdin is a Magi, which I mean if you don't know what a Magi is, but he's pretty much the one that chooses the next king um of the world, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um there's so many different kingdoms though that it kind of gets muddled at that point. Um but they pretty much fight to see who the next king is, and Amagi is a magician who is supposed to lead and help that king. Yeah. Um, and he can summon he can summon certain powers. I think Magoi is great. I mean, if you have Magoi and you can use it properly, you can summon anything. You can use it for any kind of power. You even have Black Magoi, where if you're like really evil, Black Magoi will surround you mm. and, and pretty much encapsulate you. So technically. If you wanted to be really powerful, all you have to do is be really evil, and then Black Magoi will come and surround you, and then you'll just be really powerful. Yeah. Um, but not everybody has, like, everybody has Magoi, but not everybody has the level that is required to even fight. So um, so I do want to um, jump in, um, just, a, just a quick add-on. Everyone has Magoi, not everyone can use Magoi. So yeah, only yeah. people who can use Magoi are um, Magi. Of course, they can use yeah. magic um, particles. Um, Magoi is from the Ryuk in the air. It comes from all living yeah. beings. And yeah. anyone who has the um, household vessels. So regular yeah. people who get a household vessels, they can use the Magoi. Yeah, if they actually go. But you actually have to go to a dungeon. Yeah, and, then and it's like a whole thing it, just yeah, to be able to do that. So if you're not yeah. a, a Magi, nor are you super strong even without a household yeah. vessel, or you're with a team of somebody you have super to be, strong... It's, yeah, seeing Sinbad, the prequel to Magi, 
Like, he was already super fucking strong mm-hmm. before he went and got his first household vessel. So, like, if you're not strong, you're kind of fucked. Like, yeah. it, it, there's nothing you can really do, you know. Or if you're, like, super strong and then a Magi decides that he wants to fucking be your Magi. And you're going to be next king. Yeah, like... Yeah, that's how, that's how what's-his-name got lucky. Alibaba. Because yeah. Magi or, um, what's-his-name? Not Ali, what's, what's his name? What's no, it? Alibaba, but um, yeah. Aladdin. Yeah, Aladdin decided that you're going to be next king, so that's how well, he got lucky enough to be able to get to the position he got in. Because he yes, and yes and no, it was kind of lo- it was kind of plot armor, but I he mean, went into that dungeon. Armor. He went into that dungeon and got that household vessel without Magi, mm-hmm. and then Magi finally decided to be with him. But it was plot armor, obviously, because he went to the dungeon not that strong. I mean, yeah. he knew how to fight with a sword, you know, because there was that one part where he was fighting that dude with the sword, and the dude's like, what the fuck, you know the Imperial stance? And he's like, don't let these rags fool you, homeboy. Like, <laughs> I'll fucking run the ones with you, you know? So so would Mogway, you adopt it? Um, Mogwai is definitely up there on my list. Like, if we're talking, would I take the power and not just be born into the world? Mogwai is 100% up on my list. Mm. Um, because I'd either be, I'd either have a household vessel, or I'd, you know, be a Magi. So, like... Okay, uh, I would definitely. It's up there. It's not my top one out of this list. Would you want to be born into that world? Just to be born into that world? No. With the chance of being able to get a household vessel, like if you're super strong, like hey, um, Esakai me into this world. I'm super strong. I'm a tactician. Would you want to be these, put into this world? Out of all these worlds, it would probably be closer to the bottom of my list. Okay. All right. <laughs> I agree. I, I definitely agree. It's it's not not, it's the, not, not a high the last chance. one, not the last one, but it's it's definitely close to the bottom. Yeah, it's not a high so. chance you're even going to be able to use it, even if you are born into the world. So it's going to be close to the bottom of my list. Um, but the next one though, quirks, and pretty much ninety five percent of the people have quirks, and yeah, like it's pretty much guaranteed. I got more cons than pros for this one. Really? Okay, surprisingly, okay. surprisingly, the okay. quirks from My Hero Academia. Yes. Like, God's odds, you are probably being born with a quirk. Yeah. But during my hiatus and my retreat into the Batcave while I watched My Hero Academia for, like, fucking 15 days straight, um, there are so many stupid fucking quirks out there that, yes, you may be born with one, but that doesn't mean you're fucking goaded. Yeah. Like, there's some... There's some quirks out there that, yes, the characters made it look like that they've thought outside the box and made it worthful, Mm -hmm. but if I was born with that quirk, I would be fucking pissed. Like, I would be fucking (laughs) beyond myself. Like, I would be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, if I was fucking homeboy with the grape heads, like, what the fuck? You can use those to your advantage, though. Like, he... Come on, he has used in some animated I'm, ways. I, I, I just said that they showed that the characters can think outside the box and, like, use them in a special way. But, like... Are you really going to go into depression over it? Knowing, knowing the other quirks that are out there... Like, <laughs> knowing. No, like, this is fucking... So bitch. he can have... <laughs> icy hot? He can icy yeah. hot. <laughs> but I get balls yeah, on my head. Like, really? <laughs> so, yes, you would be born with a uh, power. So, this... To be honest, though, this would be at the top of my list because... Mo- like more often than not, so you one hundred percent, not one hundred percent, but like they said, eighty five percent of the people on the planet have a quirk, right? Mm-hmm. So you're so you're you're a shoe in chance, pretty much, to get a quirk. Yeah. Um. So you will have a power. I would take the chance to be born into this world, uh, to get a quirk and then a good quirk. So I would definitely take the chance because that's good odds, right? Mm-hmm. Like those are pretty good odds. Um. But. It wouldn't be something I would choose on this list top, like top two or three, because like you could get a really shitty quirk, I mean, yeah, like a I really mean, yeah. shitty quirk, like something really dumb. Like if I was born a frog, like what the fuck? Bro? What? Like, come on. Yo, she lit, I, bro, bro. Don't talk about I, froppy. Froppy's said, lit as fuck. I never, bro. You're, you're, you're. You, I, I, I understand what you're saying. You don't, you don't like the the initial thought of just being okay. They have lit ass quirks while I am a frog, and I gotta no, figure not, this shit not, out. That. I'm saying that they showed the characters can use their quirk outside of the box because mm-hmm. that's the point. But like out of everything that's available to me, there's a reason why my top number one on here is my top one, and I'll get into it. But like. There's so much you can do as a frog, bro. Mm. I'm not fighting Todoroki as a frog. Not? I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. You know? 
Like, I'm not fucking That's doing not that. you. That's not your path, bro. Like, I'm not doing You're going like, to be an aquamarine. <laughs> <laughs> That's your path. I, okay, okay. I, I agree with you. If, if you get a certain quirk, it kind of limits your your horizons. So I'll definitely like, hear you on that. But, but I, was, I have a counter. Okay. In this world, so say you and your wife. If you know you have one quirk and you, you meet a girl, okay, you have this quirk, you can pretty much plot how your kid is going to turn out. You can pretty much say, I, you can miss that. and match yeah. type shit. So they if you want your kid to be most game. powerful... Yeah, but I don't give a fuck about my kid at this point. This is me being born with the quirk. Not my kids. I don't care. Now, granted, they did uh, say in the show that people were marrying to have a strong bloodline. Like, Todoroki's dad, Endeavor, married her or, like, forced that girl to marry him because he wanted that those powers to mix in his bloodline. Yeah. That was the point. But, like, right now we're talking about, like, what power sets we would want. And I don't know if I would... I would take the chance. It's, it's definitely my top... I'd say so far, like from what we've talked to, it's probably my top top two or three. But to take, the, I would definitely take the chance. But it's not my number one because, like, it's not even my number two. Maybe not yeah. nine one because, like, you could be born so top shitty. Three. You could be born so shitty. You would one hundred percent probably get a quirk. One hundred percent probably. Most you're, likely, most likely you're gonna get a fucking quirk. But you could get some lame ass quirk like you melt. You just sit there and melt. Yeah, like. Like oh boy, and the, and and the the thing I the reason why it's still high up on my list because because um, what's his name had permeation right the mm. dude who was supposed to get all for one or one for all uh, instead of Midoriya the one dude who lost his quirk because yeah. he was fighting and stuff whatever but he studied and trained so fucking hard that he became like goaded like he was he ran all of one eight like he ran him into the ground he that beat was a, all that, of them. that was a fire ass episode the power you know he should, like he so should have been he should have been off of one imagine if he would have got off of one bro busted broken coming out of the ground ah! <laughs> broken oh uh, he would have been able but, to control a lot of it from the start too broken but so and the, and they showed that in the beginning his quirk was bothersome. He was always falling in the ground. He mm. was always like and imagine having a baby like that and having to, like your baby falling through the floor like what the fuck you know. <laughs> so, like, I, I guarantee you if quirks were real in this world like if quirks just saw it done to happen there'd be a lot of like children deaths. Mm. There'd be a lot of children deaths. Because Probably was. Imagine if your baby falls through the fucking floor like in the middle of concrete like how are you gonna get that out? Like how are you gonna get and then he can't breathe and he literally said he can't breathe or see. You're, you're gonna die that baby's gonna die like yeah. you know so um so it's it's up there though i think i would say it's 50 50 pros and cons yeah because you're i've seen like i was sitting there with my wife watching this and they would talk about some of their quirks you know when uh um mike what's his name magic mike not magic mike i'm thinking of the, hey the yo fucking show. wrong show wrong show <laughs> great show um no but uh What's the mic? Mic head. The dude that has the mics on his arm. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, loud mic. He, something like that. Something like that. But he was when he goes over. He's like, "This person's name is blah. Their quirk is this." I'm like, "Who the fuck came up with these quirks?" Like, mm. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, "Who the fuck?" And my my wife wasn't even watching that much of it, but she'd look and be like, "Their power is what?" <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, move on to me. I mean, but I think the last takeaway, like you were just um touching on, sometimes in many situations the quirk actually can hurt the user you may even get a great quirk but it can kill you people when they, they talked about it when they the show um first start well the manga first started when quirks started happening in the world people were dying people crime escalated people didn't understand what was going on and civilization had just oh, reached a point where it was okay again like he was like okay we got it we kind of figured this out and then we start to see that all collapse again and quirks can either be great or they can literally kill you and your whole family. Like, the main villain of the story killed his whole family accidentally. Accidentally. So, yep. yeah, I don't... She, she, Shigaraki or whatever, where he was sitting there crying, and then he, like, erased his mom and his sister. Yeah, he decayed his and sister that. and then his mom. Yeah. And, yeah. Imagine accidentally. having a baby that's like that, and they get mad because you don't give them their bottle, and they fucking decay you. Come here. Come, yeah, come like, here. Come here. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm anyway, good. So, like, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Alright, so the next one ahead. is... You got is, is, it. Is, yeah, I don't... We can... We, let's, it's gonna be a wave top. I, so didn't, next do, one's I, magic. Didn't, do, I didn't do research, bro. So the next one is Magic from Fairy Tale. Um, we 
to be honest, we haven't really watched Fairy Tale. Either so one of us really. Well, we watched it a little bit and then we stopped because it's garbage. Fairy yeah, Tale. from what I saw, uh, it's like you are get whatever magic you have is your magic, and you just haven't figured that out. I'm not being born into a fairy tale world. I don't care. You can comment down below if you want to. <laughs> Moving on. You don't like friendship? No. You don't fuck with friendship? All right, next. <laughs> Riatu. <laughs> but, so Riatu, I don't know if they're talking about just regular Demon Slayer or Demon, Demon Slayer. Um, regular. So this is from. Uh, Bleach, so society. Right? But this is Riatsu. If they're talking about just from Kenpachi Zaraki, or are they just talking about being a Soul Reaper? I think they mean like being a Soul Reaper. Okay, because Riatsu is Kenpachi's power, but like, I thought I thought everybody had Riatsu. Riatsu, pretty sure Riatsu is the name of his power, but being a Soul Reaper is like just being a Soul Reaper. Like, I thought the no Riatsu way. was like the Soul. Pre I'm not. I'm not a huge. Bleach fan at all. I'm huge into Bleach. I'm just pretty sure that I'm right that Riatsu is his power. Okay, so well, his power also... specifically. Oh, 100%. I'll Explain it. Explain that. it. I don't, I'll, I'll take, take that. So, his power, that. his power is pretty much like the more. So, he has an eye. He has this eye, right? Where his eye, he has to cover it up or. Fuck, what was it? Um, yeah, it's like cut his um, power in half, like 50%. Yeah, like cut his power in half 50% because when he unleashes it, he fucking. Like, it's God tier, mm -hmm. right? The more damage he takes, the powerful he gets. Mm. So, and he wants to fight. He wants people to like fuck him up because it's like demon level god power. Mm. So, Riatsu, um, we could talk about Soul Soul Society being a Soul Reaper, uh, like a wave topic after this because Riatsu is just like, would you take this power? Absolutely, I would take this power mm. because he's an absolute demon. Like, yeah, Kenpachi Zaraki is is a fucking demon. I mean, he's basically um, a Pokemon using by. And more times you hit him, he gets stronger. He when just he... fucking yeah. He's just stronger. He's just strong. There's nothing like he is. He is the embodiment of raw power. I like his There's and nothing. Ichigo's fight. It was just basically a, a brawl, cutting each other back and forth yeah. until Ichigo ended up winning in the end. Because oh, did he win? How did how did that turn uh, out? It was more of like a more like Kenpachi Zaraki was like holding back ish, and mm. then. He released his power, and then Ichigo escaped. Well, he, like, kind of fucked Kenpachi up a little bit, plot armor. And then... So Ichigo he survived, and he was like, alright. Ichigo survived. You, you, you and then did he it. Alright. And, then, he escaped, and then, he, then Ichigo escaped. Mm. Right? And, and then he had respect was, for him after that, too. He yeah, was like, he had he respect for him. Out. He wanted to fight. Every time he sees him, he wants to fight him because of that. <laughs> On some rivalry um, shit, though. Not like, I gotta yeah, kill pretty him. Much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I would definitely take Ryatsu, though. Now, being a soul... A soul reap Or a soul... What is it? Soul yeah, soul reaper. Yeah. Being a Soul Reaper, um, now being born into the world, no. Well, I mean, yes and no. So, like, you could be born into the world of Soul Reapers, or you could be born into the world of humans. I don't want to talk about being born into the world, because I think that, that you can't make that comparison. Um, but just being a Soul Reaper, I would want to, this is on my top of the list. Because you have, everybody has a Bankai. You can Everyone become can as get a Bankai. Well, get one. Yeah, that's yeah. what, I'm, you know what I mean. Um, but everybody can get a Bankai. Uh, you're pretty much as strong as you want to be. And mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing, there's literally nothing in the show that shows a limit to anybody's power except for themselves. Like, there's nothing that shows a limit to their power. I need to read um, this one. I really think I, I need to read. Um, read yeah. So there's no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about being born into the world because technically they're not a part of the world. Mm -hmm. They're their own separate world. And you yeah. could be, you could... You could be brought into it, or you could die and become one, or you could just be born as one. That's even harder. So, Isn't it like if you die, you'll be born outside of soul society, and then by yeah. chance, maybe you can be brought you into have soul to, society? Yeah. There's a chance, and you have to beat the, the guard at the gate. Which so, is damn near impossible, so. It's almost impossible. The, and Ichigo didn't even do it. They went around them. I agree. <laughs> if I could choose being an actual soul reaper, I'd choose to be a soul reaper. 100%. I'd choose to be a soul reaper. But... Um, Nen. I like Nen. Like I said, this is one of the best power systems when it comes to anime and manga. Yes. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and say this is my number one. This is your number one? I'm going to go ahead and say, We're almost... We have two more left. I'm going to go ahead and say this is my number one. <laughs> I like Nen because so. Nen, you can kind of shape it into whatever you want it to oh, be. Yeah. Anyone... Well, everyone has Nen. Everyone has access to Nen. If you have a teacher, like, just someone who can give you the basics, you can continue to evolve. My only kind is, supposedly... It takes many, 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 many years to to be um, well um, to to become yeah, an expert. 
of expert Nin user. But of course, we see Gon and Kilua go do it like a few years. But, but I'll counter that with Kurapika. Kurapika learned Nen, and he wasn't anything special. Yes, he was a part of like a blood, like a, a clan, I guess. He was already like powerful. And he yeah, made that I'm, whole like um, seal or um, yeah, but I'm saying he didn't know anything about Nen, but he became really strong really fast. If you have like I said, I didn't want to use the teacher as an excuse anymore because if you look hard enough, you can find a teacher for anything, right? Yeah. Um, if you are born with Nen and you know about it, you literally just go find a fucking teacher that can fuck you up like Biscuit, and you're good. Yeah. You're solid. You're you're good. Like you're, I want Nen is my 100 percent because. You can literally form anything from Nen. And the reason why I like Nen is because you know that my favorite ability in any anime is lightning, like electricity. Now, I know Kilua had an affinity to it because he was electrocuted, but but they discuss briefly that you, if you, like, if you give your, or what's it called? If you expose yourself to something while you're studying Nen, that's the power that you will get. So even if he wasn't electrocuted, if he was using Nen and then like hit him with hit himself with the fucking like the elect the the stun gun or whatever the fuck it was, like I could have Nen not have been tortured or electrocuted and just go like do low voltage at first, very very low, then keep moving up, moving up while I'm using my Nen, and I can get the almost the same powers as Kilo. Yeah. He just had a better affinity of it because he was electrocuted so fucking much as a child. So because he was tortured by his fucking brother or whatever, but. You could do anything with Nen. You can literally do anything. You can create your own your own world. You can create your own powers. You can create your own affinities. And then you kind of... The one con, the one one con, my personally, with Nen, is that you are born with a specific type of Nen. So, that's not that bad. Every, so, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. That's my only con. You know how they had to do the water trick to mm-hmm. see what kind of Nen user they were? Um, like... I, I can't, I'd have to bring it up, I don't remember like, each type of Nen, um, but there was like two of them, or one or two of them that I was like, but if I had like Kilowa's Nen, which I think is like a, I don't know, I wish I, I wish I brought it up, we're terrible content creators, sorry guys, um, but if I had Kilowa's type or Uvogin's type, where he's like, phys- it's like physical Nen, where it makes himself like super fucking strong, and mm-hmm. like super enhancer. fast, and like, you got the enhancer, yeah, the enhancer. The proje- yeah. projectors, I was trying to figure out what yeah. you're talking about. I'm like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Kilua is an enhancer, mm-hmm. and so Angon. is... So, yeah, Angon, and so is um, Uvogin. Uvogin is my favorite out of the uh, spiders. Really? Obviously, he's a, he's a tank, so... I mean, yeah. um, but, and I know he got clapped up by Kurabi. I, I, I didn't uh, want to say it. I mean... I know he did, whatever. He, he, that's plot armor, but... <laughs> Oh, um, I, I 100%, I 100% do not believe Bro, if he brought a he, shovel. Karapika could beat Uvogin. He brought a shovel. But I don't believe he could beat But you're right. Anyway. Only reason Karapika beats Hurricane because he makes the um their little deal. He literally makes the deal that give yeah. me a power that can defeat the spiders. I won't use it for nothing else just yeah. to defeat the spiders. He has that's, a power. That's, it's broken. Yeah. It's broken. Come on. He had to do that in order to beat Uvogin. There's no I mean, that's the reason why he's it. super... I mean, he's kind of... He's very smart. He's very yeah. smart and he planned... The, that defeat, like just because he had a broken power, he probably wouldn't have still defeated. Dude would have packed him up yeah. easily. But out of every single power on this list, Nen would be, and Nen is my number one. Yeah, Nen is yeah. my number one because you could do, literally do anything. There's no limit. It's not a. It's not no a. Limit. It's not like a bloodline thing. Anyone nope. can have Nen. Anybody. You can just train your Nen. I don't. I think a con is going to be the training because I remember they made a point to say um, when it first started. Of course, the little boy who was being trained and he was kind of like showing them um, then for the first time. He said, "Oh, I've been training in this many years just to be able to do this." And they're like, "But you can already do that." And it shows like even like the old guy. Like it took him years to become that powerful. He was just a regular martial art person, but he continued to train his nan. He continued to train that just that one move just to get to that level. But, of course, you got the people like Ant, the Ant King, and his generals. You got Gon Kilua. But then you got Karapu who had to make that deal. So it's, eh, other than the time, it's it's a pretty awesome system. Uh, Easily, hands down. There's really not much else to say past that. (laughs) Yeah, so next one is uh, Tegu or Tegu. Tegu. Which Mm -hmm. is Tegu, which is from uh, Kame Ga Kill. Uh, My 
these are like the um, um, Imperial Arms. So these are the Imperial Arms from a Kamiga Kill. Not high on my list because there's no way you're gonna get one. You gotta now, die for them, Jones. I'm good on that. Yeah. Now the only now the only thing I would say is if we're talking about just not being born in the world and just getting the power, I'd still say no. Only no, because you have a target on your head. You still have a target on your head. And you have a target on your back the whole time, mm -hmm. and it's just a weapon. It doesn't make. There's only a few of them that actually make you strong. Um, the other ones are just weapons, like as death, as death yeah, drank that shit. You got the ice, and now and she has the ice shit. Like um, the boy gets gets the whole um, armor. Yeah, he gets the armor. He right? gets stronger and everything. But other than that, like, no. there's not much that isn't a comic. Isn't her it's sword, sword like super sharp though? Like it can cut anything. Her sword, her sword. If it touches you, it kills you. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's oh, that's that's pretty OP. Yeah, and then Akame's sister, her sword, if it touches you, you become a puppet. Like, you become her death puppet or whatever. But, but at the end of the day, you can be defeated. It's just a weapon. Yeah, like, you can be defeated by someone who has just more skill at the end of the day. Yeah, like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, that's all con to me. Like, it'd be cool. It'd be cool, wrong. yeah. I mean, if you, cool get, have if, a, if you can get as deaths, that would be pretty OP. The, or the armor, if you can get the, you know, uh, Incursio. If yeah. you can get Incursio, cool. Whether or not... Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's like it's like the Soul Eater shit. Like if you, like if you don't have your weapon with you, you're you're fucked. Like you're kind of fucked. Like, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. The feelings can be mutual with our with our last one uniforms. Like unless you get a level yeah. five or I forgot the levels. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I mean, for everybody who's looking at this, for me, this looks like Kill La Kill the uniform, the star uniforms. I think that's what it kind of looks like. I don't really know, but if that's tell. what we're going with. Yeah, if that's what we're going with, then no, no, <laughs> no. So, I, I, so to kind of so to wrap this up, so for me, my top three. For me, my top three. My first one is going to be Nen. That's going to be my my top number one is going to be Nen. My number two is going to be Hockey, and my number three is going to be uh, Soul, like being a Soul Reaper, pretty much. Yeah. Oh wow! That's my top three. Oh yeah. wow. I gotta like, follow that one up. Okay, um, number one. Of, ah, damn, being a soul reaper. That's that's cheating. That's cheating. cheating. That's cheating. That's what power. So not being born in the world. Which power? Your top three. Which powers would you have? Not not being born in the world. If I can not get like, that power off rip, off rip, have that power. Oh, not being in the or, world. Like in this world. No, I meant like looking at not these powers, but this type of power. You know your top three, not being born in the world and like having to randomly. Oh, okay, like, okay. If you you're know, born in this world, you are going to have this. Um, yeah. Well, of course. Then we're going to choose uh, the Soul Reaper in that world because they're the NLB all. Um, in One Piece world, hockey. If you don't have hockey, you ain't shit. Um, most of these you can get packed up <laughs> if you have it. Regardless, what's your what's your one through three? What's your number one? What's your number one that you that you? Choose? I'm going to choose hockey first because you know I love the show. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna choose I mean, the I'm gonna choose the um, soul soul reaper second because obviously they're powerful as shit. Um, number three though, Mago is pretty strong. Key, you can't be the strongest in the world, but then you gotta deal with problems fighting everybody all the time. That's too much. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I fuck with chakra. I'm surprised you didn't even choose that one. I really do fuck with Chakra because it does give you a full um, range of things. Yeah, you have to de deal with things like having a small Chakra pool, but as yeah. you can as you can see, you can um, build on on that. Um, yeah, I'm I would probably say not there's get some. The get, get guy. I would say the reason why is because Chakra. So Quirk was actually my number four, but the reason why is like there's a lot of basic ass ninjas, right? A lot of basic ass ninjas, but. There's barely any basic ass soul reapers. There's barely any basic nen users. Like actual like legit nen users. Not like the people that use it to like do work. Like um old boy uses it to be a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't go any further. He just uses it to be a doctor. That's all he wants, right? Um but there's barely any basic ass nen users and hockey, there's barely any basic ass hockey users. Like you have to be pretty much incredibly strong. Yeah, you're fact that's factual. To use those. But as a chocolate wielder, like 
if you got chakra, like you could just be the dudes that guard the gate at the front gate all the time. Like, you, know, like, <laughs> you know, those two random dudes that everybody makes the memes police, about. Police officer Sasuke. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, like you know. All right, so, fine. Like, I'm, my number three is going to, have to be Magoid. Then either I'm going to have uh, one of those metal vessels, or I'm going to be obviously like a magi. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, let us know. Let us know what you guys think. You know, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we are who we are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously, these are going to be our choices. We, we're yeah, going to have our biases. You know, we yeah, love the shows. Th- we, 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 we pick what we think is right. I know there's going to be probably a, some people out there that may listen to this because we know I know you guys love to uh, to ratio us a lot and listen to our stuff and not like it, so please go like it. Please, please. <laughs> and for those guys who, who <laughs> hops on the show and skips to the end of the show, of course, my number one is going to be Hoppy because One Piece is the best anime a part of <laughs> no. this whole list. No, it's not. Um, You're right. Anyways, <laughs> I appreciate everybody for listening. Go over to our YouTube. I mean, it's it's pretty much for both. We just have a picture up for, you know, for, you know, visual aid, I guess. Mm-hmm. But hop over to the YouTube, like, comment, let us know what your favorite power would be, your number one through three, or, you know, what, whatever you decide. Um, let us know if we're wrong. If you think we're wrong, if you think we we suck and we should do better, tell, tell us. Better. You know, leave a comment, a like, a <laughs> you know, dislike, yeah. just interact. You know, algorithm. Thumbs sideways. <laughs> I don't care, but I like, subscribe. Everybody. Peace. Yep, peace out.